Hello friends, welcome back to Code Generator in C++ Programming Tutorial. Here I am Harshita Chhabra and our today's agenda is to write a program that checks whether the entered string is palindrome or not. And today we are gonna do this using recursive function. Earlier in previous two tutorials, I have told you right, uh, that we have written a program that checks whether the entered number is palindrome and entered string is palindrome using for loop. And today we are going to write a program which will check the entered string is palindrome or not using the recursive function. So let me just quickly tell you what recursive function is. Recursive function is the function that calls the same function or a function that calls itself. The function which is calling itself only. We call that function as a recursive function. So let's see, I have already included the header files here. Now uh, we have to declare our recursive function here. First, and uh, here the recursive function will check if the string uh, and for string, I'll take the variable str low to high is palindrome or not. Uh, bool, I'm using here bool data type. Bool data type uh, will gives us the two value either true or false. So if this function is palindrome is true then only our uh, string is palindrome otherwise not so bool is palindrome a string str int low int high are the variables all right after that if let me first comment it here returns true if low is greater than equals to high return true if the string mismatches str of low is uh, is not equals to str of high then it will return false return false if the string mismatches if the letter if the first and last letter mismatches then we'll move to the next pair of letters so for that we are calling here move to next pair of letters second and second last so for that we are uh, going to return and call our uh, is palindrome function only because it is a recursive function so we can call it here palindrome and uh, here we will pass the parameter as str low plus 1, incre we will increment the low by 1 and decrement the high by minus 1. Okay. Then, we will declare here our driver function main. Main, here string str uh, is equal to lol. Okay. Then, uh, int length equals to, we will calculate the length of string length now if is palindrome if the function returns the value true then uh, the parameters which will which we will enter here is str 0 for low ldn minus 1 for high okay then see out string is palindrome so palindrome we will write here palindrome the end, the string we have initialized already lol okay else see out 
not palindrome. All right. Then get ch in the end. Now let us check by running it if it gives us correct output or not. Here is an error. Okay. Missed here semicolon. Palindrome. Yes, of course, lol is a palindrome. Okay, lol. If we read it from forward, lol. If we read it from backward, lol. Okay. So I hope you guys have understood it and uh, enjoyed learning with me. Thanks for watching this video and if you like it, uh, if you like this video, it, it gives us a lot of motivation to upload more videos. So please like, subscribe and comment. Okay. And if you have any question regarding this, you can comment in the comment section. We will surely get back to you and reply. You can connect us on our Instagram handle which is given your which is given on your screen that is code generator 1115 or you can mail your questions also by uh, on the given mail ID that is Python code triple one five at the rate gmail.com. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this video.